Uh, Two-story houses have the same vulnerability of, as one-stories, but in two-story houses you have the added vulnerability of the cavity between the floors. So any penetration, any venting, or any pipes that go through there you need to seal around. Got the floor cavity, the siding, the bees found a hole. This gentleman called with bees getting into this vent terminal on the side of the wall. Terminals go through the first and second story and the cavity is is the floor space. But as you can see that screening is quarter inch. That's too big. Your iron vent looks fairly well sealed. This is a typical kind of dryer vent that you see. And they hook the pipe from the dryer or the bathroom exhaust that goes through the between the first and second story. They have this through the first and second story. Typically what happens when they mount this and they stucco it and stuff, there's a gap between this face that they can get around this piece into the roof cavity or into the cavity between the floors. Dryer vents in stucco, you need to look at this bottom edge and seal along this bottom edge. A lot of times you can put your fingers down in between the wall here. So that's where you need to see to look is the bottom of this dryer vent. Well, here's another situation. They have these exhaust vents coming out. This is a two-story house. They have these exhaust vents that run through the floor of the first and second story. And in this one, as you can see, the bees are going not so much through the pipe, but around the end of it here. See those little oval holes at the bottom there of this dryer vent? I have seen bees going through those to get entry into the space of between the first and second story. So you need to seal those little oval holes. Those are big enough for the bees to get through. Going around your roof line and, and just sealing all the little holes that you can see because these bees will decide to just go wherever they want. They're underneath that overhang and they feel enough protection there to just begin building comb and, and stay there. The question on this particular one is whether they've used up the available cavity on the inside and they began to build comb on the outside. That's the question on this one. But going around and trying to seal up all the little holes, all the little cracks, is your best defense. That hole right there looks like the screening is loose at the top. Provides a perfect entrance for them. <laughs>